just here. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. hey it's Saturday. Up? It's Saturday afternoon, and you are listening to Urban Media Today Radio, which you can grab us at uh, Live 365 or tune yes. in. Just find Urban Media Today or Urban Media Today Radio. Uh, this is the Hey Girl Hey Podcast. I am your radio chick, Kiki Brown. Millennial chick, Jerry Tipton. And I am the chatter chick, LaShawn Tipton. But Trevin calls you. <laughs> Laverne. Laverne. <laughs> we have no idea why. I don't know. We have no idea why we call you Laverne. Not even my name. I, I so want to know what's going on. That's what Fred calls me. Laverne. Why is his name Fred? <laughs> well, why am I Laverne? All right. <laughs> anyway, so this Hey Girl Hey Podcast, we, uh, we wrap up the week's uh, entertainment, the hot topics, all the celebrity gossip, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like this week. I was trying to find something. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. died. Nobody got arrested. I know. There was some super ghetto, super ratchet events that happened this week, and we're going to get into it. Uh, plus, we'll have a Hey Girl Hey Spotlight, and we're going to get into Girl Talk in the right, second half. Talk. All right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Dennis yeah. Rodman, honey. <sighs> now, when you say Dennis Rodman, what's that the girl. first thing you think of? Metrosexual. Oh. That's the first thing you think of? First thing. First and with him. What about I was you, gonna Jerry? say dressing in women's clothes. I and told her that you were gonna say who is Dennis Rodman. I know. I really <laughs> no, I'm not that. Y'all, you guys. I know who Dennis Rodman is. I just, well, the first thing that I think about when I think of Dennis Rodman, I'm just like shaking my head. Like, yeah. SMH. Mm -hmm. This one is definitely a shake in my head. Oh, the other one is Ugly Cry. Oh my oh god. god. Just love you. Yeah. Anyway, so okay. he was caught stealing clothes. <laughs> he was busted. He was hanging out with three people. They were in Newport Beach. He and three accomplices walked into this boutique. And one of the women started sliding clothes in her, you know. Oh. Have you ever seen anybody steal in a store? I have. Yeah. I'm just, I was in complete I'm shock when I saw it. Yeah. And... You know, I get allegedly, according to the story, which you can find on TMZ.com, um, I guess what they had, they were trying to distract the the cashier, the retail salesperson, mm -hmm. and they were stealing clothes. So they got out with a couple of thousand dollars really? worth of clothes. Oh, it's caught on video. Dennis, uh, Dennis his their, their camp is not speaking on it, mm -hmm. but it's on video. You cannot do anything in 2019. You can't. No, Everything is recorded. Stealing or was the, the people, people that he was with stealing. Oh, so were stealing was by association. I mean, isn't that the same thing as O.J. Simpson? Well, he wanted his stuff back, but he went to jail for stealing his own stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, but, but I mean, he was in the. He's with them, uh, Dennis Rodman. Like, right. Was he with them? Like, did he, he look over at them? In the videos, the, he looked the at woman them like, don't steal that. stood behind him while she was stuffing items. Oh, so mm -hmm. yeah. like a accomplice. Right. That's what it sounds oh, like. Okay. Is life that hard, though? Well, I was going to say, is he like not... Him. Does he not have any money? Or he don't have all of his marbles. Well, he yeah, never that, did. that's never did. But must be not hanging out with like Kim Jong. Yeah, yeah, I thought he would call Kim and ask Kim for twenty dollars. What happened? Kim probably said not today. Yeah. yeah. That's sad though. That's it. Sad. It is sad. It is sad. His finances now that he got to go to a store, or it could be like a, a little high for him. Mm -hmm. You know, to steal or do to get away with stuff. Yeah, that could, could be. be his thing. Could be. I I don't know. Anyway, it goes. It look bad. If anyone is stealing bad. clothes, that you're either going to resell them for mm -hmm. money or drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to assume that this man is doing drugs. I mean. If you saw him on The Apprentice, I really don't like the judge. My grandmother said it ain't right. She was yeah, so good at it. But it happened. She was so good at it. But, like, I, I just don't, I, I don't want to think that this man would throw away hmm. his career. Because hmm. although he's known as a quirky guy, yeah. he still has that NBA career. He yeah. does, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, Trevin, was he known for and his rebounds? His his Cheetos. <laughs> So snap. I, don't, I don't know Dennis Rodman's stats. I do know that he's still on probation for a drunk, uh, a drunk. I don't want to say a drunk driving incident, but mm -hmm. he was drunk and encountered a you know police yeah. activity or whatever. So he's just going through, chap. Mm -hmm. He's he going, going through. That's what the old people say. He's just going through. People. Just need to pray for him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just pray for him. everybody um, needs prayer. Um, but I wonder, was he the big and tall shop? Like, what you know? It probably wasn't for it him. It was a it was a Newport News. It was a Newport Beach 
Boutique, which is frequented by uh, Celine Gomez, I Selena see. Gomez, and Kobe Bryant. So, so he's not on drugs. I mean, it's a high end store. Right, it's a high end store. So he's yeah. not on drugs. He needs the money. Because if he was on drugs, he would have been at the Rainbow. Yeah. Still for the Rainbow. <laughs> you still from the Rainbow? <laughs> you want drugs. What are you going to get? What are you going to. He can you get a nice dress. <laughs> then this Ryman wears dresses. He can he get does. a nice dress yeah. from Rainbow. He does. But he he's can. not a nice boutique. He needs the money. Or that, yeah. And you, he's reselling it. He wants to he's be selling. reselling. And he figured, you know, oh, he's not going to steal. He's Dennis Rodman. So mm -hmm. let's have the people around them yeah, steal. Here's the thing. He would have got it for free. Yeah. He's not admired. In America, due to the whole Kim Jong Un yeah. situation, we yeah. were like, mm. they put him at the black. What is the, the um? What's the, the trade off with uh, Dave oh, Chappelle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, they did the trade. Right, 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 right. Black man, the black piece right. of trade. He's yeah. like, we're gonna make a trade. Yeah, I think and he was traded. <laughs> Wayne Brady or something like that. Yeah, not Wayne Brady. Yeah, sorry, he was man. traded for Gary Owen. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So I love Wayne Brady. Different story. But right. anyway, okay, so. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. He's not. There have been no arrests. There's no at this at this yeah. time no arrests. But let's be honest with this. Do we care? Not really. Not but really. it was a top story. He was arrested. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not arrested. He was caught on camera. Yeah. How he was caught on camera and this news story surfaced and there were no arrests. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. That's weird. Yeah. They let him go. I don't think they know. If he is if he is guilty, I don't think they're gonna slap him on the wrist. Oh, yeah, not at all. No. Okay. I'm just curious, like, what did he take? Like, it was clothes, and like one was a, a, ju a jewelry item, and it broke. Ah, so, weird. yeah, you have to look at it. It's on TMZ.com. I'm going to take a look because I, yeah, I missed that one. Too. Another story that's on TMZ.com is no. R. Kelly. No. No. R. No. Wait, he got, he's getting a second chance. What? Yeah. Okay. Statute of limitations. Okay. Is Whatever. possibly the reason the judge is deciding to give him a, another shot at fighting for his life in a in one of ten sexual assault cases. So this alleged victim mm -hmm. um, claims that she met him in the late nineties. She was sixteen years old, being that it's two thousand nineteen, and now she's coming forward. Statute of limitations yeah. may be in effect. Yeah. So this could be one. One right. of one of ten. Because the other ones settled. Yeah. yeah. So they settled. So he's not charged for those. I don't so know. So the other ones are these are allegations. The other. Right. Well, I'm not too sure. Then he got the two chicks that are living with mm -hmm. him. So I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, second yeah. chance. Just, uh, Does it look like what is change? that, Jerry? I'm, I'm sorry. This is so disappointing. What was that? Uh, no. I was just like. <laughs> A second chance. This is just one. There's plenty of others. Mm -hmm. You know. How ma'am. This happened in late nineties. It yeah. is 2019. Uh -huh. Wow. I understand that some people are afraid. Yeah. And while they're sitting on their story. Mm -hmm. It is 2019. You thought? But yeah. I guess the other ones were what? late 90s, early yeah. 2000s. Yeah. So maybe so she thought, I'm going to shoot my shot. And just bring out, come out with the story. You know? So, I mean. I don't, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm over this whole R. Kelly thing. Like, I'm yeah. over it. And you know there's a follow-up documentary. Yeah. I'm that, really? Yeah, yes. So I let it is supposed to be. Uh, hosting it, and there's a follow up. I thought you the was gonna say Dan was yeah. one of the people. No, nah, like, she ain't stupid. Yeah, look. yeah. It's a, it's a follow up to, to the documentary to the surviving R. Kelly. So there's no. gonna be yeah, yeah. Lifetime is yeah. He said, "Y'all killing me, man. Y'all yeah, killing me. Fight for my life." <laughs> All right. All right. Sit down, Robert. 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 Sit down. Robert. Robert. Yes. Yeah. Never flinch. Love Gail. Do the story on her. <laughs> Make yeah. your eleven million. Would auntie. you please? Yes, Robert. Yeah. Okay. So I, love her. I know we have a few. I know we have a few mm -hmm. seconds. We have to get into um, to break. But uh, no, are we break. still Gucci? We Gucci riding or not? I, I mean, I can't afford it. But I, mean, I, I, never did. <laughs> I need. I don't I know. Gucci. I can't afford it. Um, Snoop Dogg says I have a lot of Gucci. Hey, I want to wear it. What are we doing? Are we Gucci or not? Yeah, because yeah. of the Met Gala, Gala, yeah. Gala, yeah. Yeah, same, same thing. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> folks were rocking Gucci right. on the pink carpet, right. and right. he's like, "I thought we didn't like Gucci." Yeah. yeah. So what's so going on? When it when it comes to that, 
was did we all I don't know, you know I don't have Gucci, do so it? I've never so, boycotted. Yeah. Did thing. we all meet when we met on Tuesday, did we all agree that we all were going to boycott? Because you know when mm-hmm. we meet. When black yeah. people meet. They said I don't remember right. at the meeting us mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. saying we were going to boycott. Well not right. all black people got Gucci. Right. Right. So right. I don't think it really meant anything to us. But what they did, you know, to make uh the racial slur, mm-hmm. I mean, the racial um, pictures and all that. It was a black face, black, black, black face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that we don't have to wear it to be against it. Right. Yeah. But I just sure. didn't know if we all met about it. Right. I just wanted to make sure we all were one on court. I don't think all these it's, celebrities it's a personal matter. who have this Gucci, they spent you know thousands of dollars on it, just want to stop wearing it. I know, know Gucci is trying Gucci hard to, got the money, so they to don't regain crap. to regain the credibility uh, by working with other designers. Um, they don't to, to, uh, they're yeah, going to they're, they're be Gucci anyway. All right, so speaking of the pink carpet at the Met Gala. Yes. Damn Tiffany Haddish. She kills me. I can't. I, I can't. Uh, we're gonna, we're I gonna talk her. about it. We're gonna talk about it. Uh, she's hilarious. I can't do it. I can't. Why, she's not. Kiki, why? First of all, she's not funny to me. You don't think she's, she's not funny, funny, and the Met Gala is just not. It's not the improv. Mm-hmm. No, it's no, it's I not. Thought, it's I a serious fashion. Those, yeah, but I thought every one of those outfits were hilarious. I thought every one of them were funny. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a whole comedy show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought it was a menstrual show. The whole thing. A menstrual show? Yeah, isn't that what they're called? The little puppet shows. <laughs> People do. What is a menstrual? I've <laughs> never heard of that before. I never. Let's look this up. Let me get my phone. I'm about to Google this. Hold on. Menstrual show. I've never. Not heard like of a menstrual. Like we're period. Y'all ain't gonna just do this to me right now. For real. Listen. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get into what they said and talk about. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Guys, make sure you listen out for timeout sports with John McCann. If I'm you want here. to get caught up on NBA, NFL, NCAA, whatever it is, he's got all the sports. He's got all the deets. Timeout sports with John McCann on Urban Media today. You can catch up with him on our SoundCloud station. Look us up, Urban Media Today. It is Hey Girl Hey, the podcast on Urban hey, Media hey, Today. Hey. They said it's next. Menstrual show. What is it? Oh, menstrual. Oh. <laughs> hey Girl Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, Fred. Things we're, that happen behind the scenes. Just, Hilarious. It's the Hey Girl Hey podcast on Urban Media Today. So now we're into They Said. All right. She's showing me that <laughs> it's a menstrual. So it's menstrual. spelled differently. That's not menstrual. Menstrual. And menstrual. Not like menstrual, like period. Menstrual, period. It's a menstrual show. The black face. Menstrual. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, what? God. Oh, Lord. Mercy. You didn't know what a menstrual a menstrual. I didn't know you what she meant. You gonna let them play meant. you like that? I didn't. They played know. it like that for the really? last segment. Really? And then you gonna come oh, in really? now? Really? I would love to be able to speak on the mic. Come that on, nice. Laverne. <laughs> hey, Fred. You <laughs> called him Laverne. You called him That's your name. Y'all are funny. Oh. I didn't know what she meant. That's what I said. And you just... Now you're going to come and say, you didn't know what that was? So we're talking Thanks. about Tiffany Haddish yep. you taking, <laughs> taking the pink carpet at this year's Met Gala. Right. Now, the She Ready comedian, she showed up. Mm-hmm. She looks beautiful in her black and white pimp suit with her mm-hmm. matching handbag. But when she was asked what else she's bringing with her, she pulled out a Ziploc bag of fried chicken. Thank you. That's something. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that it was ghetto. It was tacky. To bring fried chicken? Because she's a comedian, yes. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. It's just... To, to eat? She was like, yeah, you have to see that. It's like, I just don't think that's her necessary. I was going to say, like, when she... That's her stick. I get, I know what you're saying is a time and a place. No. But at the same time, it's Tiffany Haddish. Like, we... Ex- it's something to expect from her. You know, so I'm not surprised she would have. That's exactly how she makes her money. I'm not surprised she did that. Yeah, that's just her. You never know what to expect. I think if she came in and she was different, it was just like, yeah, I'm wearing he won't she wherever it is, and I got this on. Everybody been like, oh, they they probably been like, come on. Did she need the ziploc bag filled with fried chicken? Yeah, Yeah. because I think she could have pulled it off with just with the pimp suit. I don't think she she needed fried chicken. Fried chicken was the excess, and they were eating it. Yeah, I don't think the food is all that. So I think okay. you should know what your chicken. I get that. So that was I not too much for the gala. Is it gala or gala? Gala. Okay. <laughs> I said gala. Gala. I've yeah. always said gala. Gala. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're moving on. Okay. So, <laughs> right. 
So uh, the news broke today that Common, rapper Common, mm -hmm. um, has been touring. I love Common. Um, he's been touring to promote a new book. That. He has a memoir, mm -hmm. and it's called Let Love Have the Last Word. Yes. And Common's relationships have not all worked out. Yeah. He has a different type of taste. Mm -hmm. When you think about the women that he's dated, Erica Badu, Serena, Serena Williams, Williams, Angela Rye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angela Rye. Like, Angela Rye, she's like this big political commentator mm -hmm. and... Mm. Yes, like she's so straightforward. She's real woke. She is. Yeah, she's she very, is. very, very woke. Oh, she had them straight facts on the uh, one day when she was on TV. I said, yes, Angela. I mean, she's, she's awesome. She's all. And I hear they're back together. Yes, I think I might have seen her on yeah. CNN. Yeah, CNN, yeah. yeah. She's, she's the most known for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, but he's revealing that he's seeking therapy. Yeah. For his love addiction issue. And I was like, oh, we gotta, why is this questionable when it comes to a man to have it's awesome. an issue with love addiction? That's yeah. a great, that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know what you're saying. I've, I've dated a guy like that. That was addicted to love? Like yeah. the honeymoon period. Yeah, the honeymoon period. Yeah. So when you first fall in mm -hmm. love and then after that, they're like, they're done. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of people do that. I applaud him. For exploring mm -hmm. that he has a problem with it. Right. Because if he would have maintained that and kept doing that, he would have never found love. Right. Yeah. Never. Because he didn't know he had a problem. Mm -hmm. He just thinks he's just falling up. But he likes the honeymoon period. Yeah, the honeymoon so he, it makes him even more sexier to me with his cute self. So, yeah. 10 seconds, pick that up. I'll bet you I double dodger you. Okay, so I just dropped my gum and shit in Jerry's shoe. So he <laughs> said, he the did second. say, that he was feel he, he was feeling of being the feeling of being in love in that honeymoon period. He was addicted to that feeling. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that you you have to come to the realization that it does not exist? Yeah, or not the realization that it could soon end. It could yeah. end. It could yep. soon, I think it's that it can soon because end. he'll never he'll never find love. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll never find love. So I'm so glad he's just getting look at the Lord getting him right for me. Yeah. Oh, come on. Um, come. I don't think you heard reports that he yeah. and Angela and Rye might be getting back together. Yeah, forget that, whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Next. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Something about him. I love him. Could I you get Laverne to please, Fred? <laughs> I'm just saying. Could you please talk to Laverne? Why is it bad for a man to have a love addiction? An addiction to love? I and didn't why, say it was bad. It's not an addiction to love. And why is it, and why is it Laverne? And why is it that, That's right. you know, it has to be when the honeymoon period is over? Why can't the man and the woman... Now, I know women who are in love with the honeymoon period. I know oh, yeah. women who are so bold as to tell you when the honeymoon period is over. Mm -hmm. So, w w what's the problem? No, 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 the problem was is that... Get on the mic, please, Laverne. The problem is, oh, is that God. the honeymoon <laughs> period ends for everybody. For it does. You don't stay on the honeymoon mm -hmm. period. You, if you keep thinking that everything is... I bet you couples that have been married for 50 years that still say they're in the honeymoon period. Oh, yeah, because they speak those things as though they were, but it really isn't. Because you got ups and downs and ebbs and flows in a relationship. So why Everything hating? is not... I'm not hating. Oh. I'm just stating what's right. Oh, so, that was dope. Yeah, See, like ours. Ours. Oh, I'm not hating. I'm just stating it. Right. So... This is the thing. You can't keep going through that in a relationship. There is, there's a honeymoon period, and then it gets to the real stuff. Mm -hmm. Does it depend? Can down we to just real stuff? say that you two? Does it really depend on the couple though? What do you mean? Like if you just want that wave, you want to ride that good wave, that high wave. So you're gonna do everything possible to make sure that you're on that high wave. Well, you so both that euphoria there. phase does not go away. Yeah, well, you know, come on out of La La Land. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be La La Land? La La Land. That's your opinion. Come on. That is your opinion. It's my opinion. It's been tested. It has been tried. It's tested and proved. <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists have yes. been. It's, it's for real. You ain't going through no honeymoon period. There's What happens when stuff really get real? You mm -hmm. say honeymoon no more? Mm -hmm. This is for real. That's true. Mm -hmm. You ain't that cute no more? You know, your jokes ain't that funny. Yeah. No more. It's, I it's think not, that you know, it, 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 it is old. the person. I think it depends on the person. You can't tell that many doggone jokes. Okay, I'm not for saying. For the whole relationship. I'm not That's saying a, that your relationship is based on how well you tell a joke. I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm, I'm just okay. telling you. We, how about I'm this? Just, we can agree to disagree. 
I'm just telling you. Yeah, we could agree. And I'm it glad that, that Common <laughs> has taken the lead to share that he is seeking therapy at this and that there is such a thing that, that you want to, that you have a love addiction. And some on, men, home, not all men. No, not all. Some, some men can agree that there is a such thing as love therapy. addiction. Did you yes. hear my disclaimer? Some, yeah. Not all not men. All men. Some men. Come on home, call That's me. actually a great girl Come talk. Home, we do home. have a Hey Girl, Hey Spotlight before we get to girl talk. Yes. You want to know who I'm spotlighting? All the mamas, all the stepmamas, all the great grandmamas, all the godmamas, yes. all the mommies to be, yes. all the yes girls, yes. all the something like a mother. Yes. All of that. All the those who are nurturers, those who love by nature, those mm -hmm. who have mm -hmm. brought in a child, those who have adopted a child, those yes. who love a child, look after a child. Except for LaShawn, because she be leaving babies in cars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did it we, celebrate, we celebrate Mother's Day tomorrow, uh -huh. and so we want to spotlight all of the mothers. All and the even mothers. the mothers in laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even some people we that. call mothers. I did say that. I said um, something. No, I'm like talking about mothers with extra words added to it. Uh, no, that's not who we're mother. celebrating right now. Could you get her, please? Mother. Laverne. Hate <laughs> lemonade. Sure. Shut I'm up. trying to make lemonade out of this. That's I'm why I'm calling her Laverne. Because she's hating. It's, it's all hate over that's here. What Laverne Laverne means, that's what Laverne means. Because she's. You know. It's plain. Anyway, now. It's plain Let me ask you this question. Does having a baby make you a mother? Sorry? What'd you Does say? having a baby make you a mother? Having a baby make you a mother? No. Mm -mm. No. Absolutely Well, mm -mm. well. No. <laughs> it well. Here, here she goes. No. Hoda Copy is a mother. Yes. She yes. adopted two children. Right. She's a mother. Right. She did not have babies. Right. But she, I mean, not that's, I mean, it's not the whole thing. So how, what does having a baby, what does having a baby make you? If a it mother. Make you a mother. <laughs> I mean, you you brought a human, mother, a human being. Mother, you know, like, you don't have what, to but, have a baby to be a mother, right? But what does having a baby make you? A person that had a baby. What is it? I don't know. I can't have a baby. I mean, so uh, he can't have a baby, but he's a father, and he can't have a baby. You know what I mean? So you give him the name as a father. But why can't she be a mother? It doesn't mean that she has to. Birth, I mean, she birthed the baby. It doesn't mean she has to raise the child, but she still is a mother. She gave birth. I don't know where and we're going. And even... Where we, I'm lost. Where are we at? Okay. I'm just saying... I'm, like, huh? I'm just saying, you can't say if somebody... If somebody Say that they, they didn't raise their child and somebody else raised their child. Right. They're still they're, a mother, still technically. A mother. Right. Exactly. Biologically. Right. Right. So there's the, the, the bio mom. Right. So it does make them a mother. Not having a child... I mean, having a child does make you a mother. Was right. it the question? I yeah. don't know what the question was. The question was not if if you if you. I'm so. Are you? Is it me? Listen, listen. The question was if you have a child, does, does that make you a mother? I was trying to get the understanding. Yes, it does make you a mother having a child. And I said yes. I thought you were disagreeing with me. I wasn't disagreeing. Why would you I do had that? the disagree stance. She did. She, she did. did. She did. Thank she did. you. I was asking a question. She did. Listen, I put my hands up like this. Listen, I need a drink. We're about to get into Botox. I don't want to do that. We should bring wine next week. Let's next bring week. the wine. Yeah, let's no, we're wine. not bringing wine. Why not? And because it's. Uh, then this. again, you never. Uh, <laughs> check us out, Urban Media Today Radio. You can, you can listen wine. to us twenty four seven. We got the good music, R and B, soul, old school hip hop, jazz yes, on Sundays, gospel every morning and every Sunday. Plus your favorite podcast on sports, entertainment. We got finance and also some. Subscribe to UrbanMediaToday.com, yes. 1999, a year. Not a day, not a month, not a week, but a year. It is Hey Girl, Hey, the podcast the on podcast. Urban Media Today. Hey Girl, Hey. hey, girl, hey. It is time for Girl Talk. Although we already had a little conversation, right? But we got to talk about Aisha Curry. Poor little, poor little Tay Tay. <laughs> <laughs> poor little Tay Tay. Poor little Lysia. All she was trying to. Okay, so if you don't know, you yeah, should know this. She must have just got out of prison. But so Aisha Curry sat at the red table to do the red table talk with Jada Pinkett Smith and her family and Aisha Curry's family. Aisha Curry is married to Steph 
Curry. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who's plays for the Golden State Warriors? Right. Ooh, I knew that. Yeah. Yes. 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 Anyway, so she shared um, her her life experience being in, uh, being a basketball wife. Mm-hmm. She understands that coming with this lifestyle, um, she knows that her husband is going to get a lot of attention. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it busts her ego up a little bit when she doesn't get any attention. She, oh. she wants attention as well. Right. So when this happened, I knew what she was saying. You have to watch the video. It's on Facebook. I have to watch Red that. Table Talk. It's not what she meant. She was just saying, like, I like to be complimented, too. Mm-hmm. I know my husband is going to compliment me. My husband is supposed to compliment me as I am supposed to compliment him. Right. That's a given. It's a back and forth. So she wants but if I'm dolling myself up and I'm out with my husband, I kind of want some compliments too. It it, it boosts your ego. Mm-hmm. So folks were saying that she sounded insecure, that a she little. sounded thirsty. A little. And why does she have to be thirsty if all she's asking for is compliments? From who? I guess from other people, other men. And we talked about it at work. It was like, well, I think that because Jada Pinkett Smith said to her, you think that they're not looking at you. They are. But because they have high regard for your husband, they're they're not not pushing up on you. You don't want that. They're respecting your husband. Now, the females on the other end don't give two kitties. They don't care. They care less. That's true. Um, But the fellas are like, I mean, look at them. They're already, you know, this, this picture perfect uh, quote unquote mm-hmm. couple. So I'm not gonna come in. That's my, that's my bro. It's the bro code. I'm not gonna come in right. and 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 try and holler at your wife in front of you or even slide through her DMs. I'm just not doing it. I, I got respect for stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, but she's just like. I mean, I like to be complimented sometimes. And sometimes uh, women do. That's, we that's do like to be complimented. Women, you know, I guess. And what she was saying is, she's a mother of three kids. You know. And? And- <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> she's I'm confused. I she's am. Like, I'm sorry. I guess what her her thing is. My mother with three kids. Yeah, I'm married to Steph Curry, one of the greatest you know basketball players. But it would still be nice if I had that side eye. Even just if for she's a not a basketball wife, I think that most women outside of Lashawn. Yeah, like to be dressed up and like to be complimented. We, we do I know. love to be dressed up and complimented. Let, 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 let me just let me just make this do this. Say this. Okay, if Steph Curry wasn't Steph Curry. Would she be okay that no one really looked at her? Because they're really looking at him because he's Steph Curry. Because right. if he was average dude from Homewood, for real, or Penn Hills, mm-hmm. we're not all looking at him like that. So mm-hmm. what is she going to do to build herself up so they can look at her? She's already so what is her, what is her She's just saying it. When you're out and you're in the VIP and your husband is Steph Curry or maybe you're with Chris Brown or you're with Trey Songz, whatever, and everyone Trey is showing up you know, and everyone is walking up to them and ignoring you, mm-hmm. it does mess with you. Not you, LaShawn. I mean, grab not a basketball, you. play, you know, play oh, the game. Oh, my God. Why don't no, you it's that? just it's a big deal. It's not <laughs> No, they're not, no, they're, like, I can see they're disrespecting her and disregarding her as his wife. Mm-hmm. I would have an issue with that. But because they're not looking at me and they're looking at my husband because my husband is a phenomenal basketball player, I'm standing there like, go, honey, go. Like, I'm, I'm proud that they're doing that for him. So I'm not sitting there trying well, to get me That's good. That's good that you're that secure. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, but not a lot of women well, get y'all are that secure. Get you can't wife. say that. I'm your saying, wife. I'm you saying, can't get say that. Your you wife. can't say that. Because <laughs> that's something for yourself. She got, you know what? She got a cooking show, don't she? And she, yeah, yeah so, she's a cover girl. She's exactly. Some, all she's saying is, she, I'm here. Right. Okay. I'm here. Compliment me too. Oh my God. <laughs> Get you a better outfit or something. I don't know. Oh, what do you want? Oh what do you want? Did you notice the shade? Did it get I'm dark in here? Like, what is that about? Do you feel a breeze? Yes. Yes. If if she if Steph went on her cooking show and while she's doing her thing on a cooking show and Steph stood there and said, you know what? No one looked at me today on your cooking show. What do you think? Because we're at my cooking show and everybody here in this cooking show know me for cooking. And so that's why they're here. Like, you do a great job because you're the best cook ever. So, so that's okay. Have a All right. Let's paint another picture then. Let's say it's not. Say Aisha's just a regular chick. So me, you, Jerry, mm-hmm. and Aisha, we all hanging out. Right. All right? Um, we all have a significant other. Right. But we're dressed up. Usually women dress up 
to make other women mad and to have other men look mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. some of us yeah. some of us because we like to dress nice period right, right? normally so if throughout the night no one asks you to dance no one asks you if you want to drink you're not thirsty for it but in a way you're kind of like well, dang ain't nobody asked me to buy me a drink well it's my birthday mind, so that makes me thirsty no in my mind they're all gay uh, but, <laughs> wait, there you, you go. gotta put the side felt disclaimer not that there's anything wrong not with there's it. anything wrong with it Thank but you. if they don't look at me and they don't buy me a drink the whole bar. So it's not you, it's yeah. them. It's yeah. them. Okay. okay. There okay. you go. I need you to call Aisha. I'm about right to call now. her. Like, get your life sis. Tell her to get a sip. Get your life sis. Take a sip. You should be happy that you got a man that people look up to mm -hmm. and that when you walk into the place, they give him the utmost respect That's for yeah. the job that he does. Yeah. So why am I trying to get his shine? She's or not get, saying that. Or get a part of, or even have somebody look at me. I now, to a, to a guy, if he's in his arena and he's doing his job, then I'm pulling back. Like, baby, do you right now? Mm -hmm. This is you. We're mm -hmm. right here with you. I'm not trying to step up and say, look, look at my shoes. Y'all see my shoes? Ain't nobody comment. No, no. Come on now. Sit down. Okay. Set it down, Aisha. Just sit down. No, it's, it's his. Let him do it. <laughs> sit down, Aisha. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. And then you got to wait till he comes to you. And then you have to see the respect that he gives you while he's out there with these people. Mm -hmm. Now, he's the one that make her shine. That's whenever he grabs her and says, this is my wife. Well, he All does that. Exactly. She so you what is she video. running for? You gotta what watch is she, the what video. Does she want? She just, she just yeah. wants to be visible. Honey, if my husband... I couldn't he, imagine living that if life. He makes I couldn't. Me, if he says something in a room full of a million people and he just said it to me, you know who's in that room? Just me and him. Not even there's a million people. Okay. All of them could be there for him, but if he just looks at me and he gives me the eye mm -hmm. and he gives me the look that I need, that's all that it's matters. Just all that matters. I get it. I get Grow it. Grow up, baby. All right. It's okay. She young. She young. You know, she young. She gonna grow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh huh. Love Thanks. you, boo. Wow. Love you. Damn. Uh -huh. well, Take a drink. Cold. Take a drink. She Jerry, what do you think? I was <laughs> Say. Turn her mic off. She said enough. Turn her mic off. Where, what does the millennial think? Um, I get where she's coming from. You know, uh, Aisha. Okay. Um, you know, her husband <laughs> is in the spotlight. Oh, Sean, right? You know, she. She. I don't know what's in that cup. <laughs> 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 it makes sense. It's truth serum. I don't know what's in there. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> you know, as a woman, most women, not saying all women, but most of us still deal with insecurities. Whether you know it can be with her job, with personal issues like her you know, mm -hmm. weight, you know whatever mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, she probably feels insecure being that yeah she's not getting this attention from you know other men or whatever because you know of who her husband is. Right. But you have to think about it like, okay, does Beyonce feel that way when she's with Jay Z? You know what I mean? Like is she's probably not getting? I mean she probably is, but at the same time she's not worried about it. She's with Jay Z. You know what I mean? No, but she said that she's been in secure times. Too. Yeah. Yeah, you every know, woman deals with insecurity. Every woman deals every, with insecurity. Everybody. In, <laughs> I have, but I mean, it's nothing that really rules. I mean, it doesn't bother me that bad. I mean, I deal with some insecurities, just mm -hmm. some, you mm -hmm. know. And then when I think about it, I get mad at myself. Like, really? Did you go there with that? You know. So, I mean, it's just it. I, I guess it's because of the things I've gone through in life, and it made me the way that I am. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Nothing like that, but that's something that's not gonna doesn't bother me too much. Okay, it just doesn't. But everybody deals with insecurities, and I have I have some. Mm -hmm. I have some. Very little. Very, yeah, very, very little. Little. About about But when it comes with you know, it comes with the territory with a man, and you know, that whole deal there, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't deal with that. I, I get. I get what she's saying. Sometimes it does make you feel good. If I mean, you know, I know that. If anyone were to approach me, I have, I know I'm going to be like, fall back. You know what I mean? I got a man. Give me the opportunity to be like. Yeah. Oh, so you want him to approach you, but then you want to be like, no. Yeah, so because I want to feel like, yeah, yeah, I look yeah. good. That's right. You Sometimes want, she you wants just, to it doesn't make me insecure. Like it's just, it. I'm a woman. I still got it. Right. But what do you need that validation from? You, I don't, I don't need it. It's just sometimes it's fun. I don't know. Sometimes. I don't have the right answer. That's a mental question. I wasn't expecting a follow-up question, say, question for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. Like, you I am told like, every day 
how sexy I am. That's what's up. How beautiful I am. That's what's up. How voluptuous I am. How every day. Isn't every that day. Awesome, though? I don't discount that. Right. I don't. So sometimes if if which never happens, I think it's because of the look on my face. Oh no, I give off. I I was told that I have a look that I'm in a relationship. Oh, yeah, she up. looks like she's in a relationship. All right, so I'm not gonna talk to her. I'm just gonna. I don't know if it's the way I look, the way I dress, the way I. T I don't know. I never heard that before. It's kind of like saying you sound black. Like what? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Or you sound white. Oh, That's yeah, dumb. Yeah. But people say I give off. You know, I give off that that you know whatever that aura. Um, mm. So, but if someone does say, "Hey, so you know, how you doing?" Like I'm fine. So you gotta make. Well, you do get yes. that. Like, okay. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I but in my head, I'm like, oh, I still got it. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, you do that. It's just a oh. thing that makes. I do. So it is something that we do. Yeah. Yeah. I think I everybody likes their ego boost just yeah. a little bit. I don't know. I grew up in a house where my father always told me how beautiful that I am. Mm -hmm. you know, that I was when he was living. He always said, told me, and my sister. You girls are so beautiful. Hi, beautiful book. So I, I grew up thinking and knowing that I'm beautiful. Right. So it never, nothing really bothers me in terms of that. Um, now, I don't know if it's an insecurity, but some, but some things do hurt my feelings. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, certain mm -hmm. things that people do say hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. um, but I always get guys that approach me and even when I'm with somebody, but the nice thing that I like is that, you know, there's a way you address that, you know, like, like I'm with him and his name is so-and-so. Like, Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate you coming up. Like, yeah, because if he messes up, Call her back. Oh, no. <laughs> you just you don't, you don't want to mess that up. You don't want to mess that up. Somebody in the will call with yeah, us. You got to do the will call. <laughs> will call. Listen, because we're not married, but tonight I'm here with him. <laughs> if this doesn't work real well, because I'm always, I'm always so nice and some, I'm so cordial all the time. So when a guy comes, up, I'm like, oh, nice meeting you. But yeah, I'm with him. Did you still want to buy me a drink? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> like, sure, you I'll know, and it. then clash my pearls. <laughs> that little thing. But you know, like I'm still gonna be nice. You can't I'm see gonna me, see but I'm around. totally shaking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my eyes closed, like, shaking hands. Oh yeah. my god, this is the thing that that we, we don't to have to deal with when we're online dating. Because yeah. we swipe through all the characteristics and all the games and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then once we find that person, we double click or double tap. I don't mm -hmm. know how that goes with online dating, Jerry. It's a little. Okay. Ah, Jerry. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Jerry. I don't know. Because we're going to move into the other, the, the final. No, no. So, okay. Then, but let's just, let's just start okay. with the online dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a long thing right there. Because I've done that. I'm not doing it. I've done it. Yeah, I've done it. Done it, and I've had some success. But does it wipe out all of that other stress and distraction? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's. Does it, it make it harder? It, um, uh, I think it's, it's easier. It's to easier. Talk to people it is. You, it's easier because you know you just never know you know who you're gonna meet, and, and you know you, you swipe pictures. left, you swipe right, and then you see the pictures, and the conversation comes, and boom, you're talking, exchanging numbers, but and man, you meet up. Some big lies it's there. easier, but if they really? are a lot of like I'm five nine. You he get out that car, he's like five five. Wait five, a five, minute, he's like shut the car door like this, feet, bro. Yeah. yeah, he's shut the car door, both of his hands up, like. <laughs> Like that? I mean, and then they walk their whole gate be off. You're like, oh no, you ain't tell me right there. Really? really? Oh yeah, because they put the best pictures up there. They you know, do. Oh, they put the best looking pictures best. up. I've done that. I've, is I've, it better though? I mean, is it better in terms of what? Like, how are you sorting through? Because if you're not using you're the just online dating visual. situation, saying, oh, he looks cute. Is it easier now? Because no. the traditional way of finding 